this could be really, really good, you know. I mean, not that my other stuff isn't ever, in my opinion, and other people's, I, I hope, okay, but this could be outstanding. Hello everybody, it's Barry here. Hope you are well wherever you are in the world. I love you. Welcome to our kitchen. It is a Monday morning. It's a little bit gloomy. Everyone's out of the house. I'm home alone. I'm not Macaulay Culkin. You probably guessed that by now. But sometimes on a gloomy day like this, you want to just fall to your knees and thank the heavens that you can make just a chocolate, just a cake. I really want to just make a cake today. <laughs> I just, sometimes I go some quite crazy videos recently and I thought, you know what? I want to make a cake. And not just any cake as I stand by the slow cooker which is legitimately on for our dinner tonight. In this bathtub shaped cake tin, why don't they call them a bathtub tin, that'd be amazing, we are going to make a triple chocolate banana bread. Ooh. Banana breads are one of the most amazing things in the whole world. If you want a piece of my heart, just if you ever see me in the street, just walk up to me and just give me banana bread, all right? Just deliver it like a post box. So good. Love the flavors, love the wholesomeness, the slight moisture in it. We can enhance the moistness. Let's get going. We do all the wet ingredients first. Five bananas, peel them. Nice. Oh yeah. There we go, nice and gooey. And randomly, fact of the day, this was one of my favorite foods as a baby mashed banana. Well, my favorite was chocolate pudding, hence my figure, but you get the idea, I like sweet stuff. Continue with the wet ingredients then, some melted butter, some vanilla extract, one egg, or as I like to sometimes call it, oof, an oof. This sounds so much better for an egg. Oof. Now this is uh, something optional. We're gonna add in some yogurt, okay? I'm just kind of winging this and a little bit of a guess. I think that's about right. About two tablespoons, all right? Now I don't normally add uh, plain yogurt in. You could use Greek yogurt as well if you want. You could use a banana flavored yogurt or you could omit it, which I generally tend to do uh, in most other ones I've done. It's just this will hopefully increase the moistness even more. The only downside to a banana bread is that it takes a long time to bake. It normally takes about an, a, a solid hour. And even then there's been times where I've put like a skewer through, which we still do, and if it's gooey, you wanna keep pushing it. All right, we're gonna latch on <laughs> with the sieve. Now there are some recipes where you're like, oh yeah, do this in a separate bowl, then this in a separate bowl. I'm very much, if you haven't known from the years already here on the channel, that I just like that simplicity of chucking it all together. I don't think it makes a huge difference if you don't put it all and just mix it, as long as you don't over mix it, all right? Well, it's worked for me so far, hasn't it? So with that in mind, I have got light and standard sugar, cocoa powder, plain flour, some bicarbonate soda, and a pinch of salt, which I'm not gonna salt bay for a change, right? I'm just literally gonna put it on there. All together, nice and sieved, nice and fine. But there is like this cloak, this dusting, this really nice, thin, delicate sieveness of the dry ingredients. These little lumps here, we can pass them back and forth through the sieve, break them down. Cocoa powder does tend to do that, and some of the sugar, but that's all right, not too much. Look at that, and that is a proper dusting. <laughs> it looks a bit like a tiramisu. We've got the wet batter ready uh, with the flour, which ultimately that's not really a batter yet, is it? It will become a batter. Oh yeah. It looks so good, but it smells a little wrong because of like the banana in it. I'm like, are you bananas? Yes, it is. There's one other bit to add, and that is our triple chocolate. Triple chocolate, triple chocolate. We have got white milk and dark chocolate chips. <laughs> I hesitated and I forgot what they're called. Chips. Um, I'm imagining we don't call them chocolate fries in America. No. Nope. Take a spatula, and then that's the chance to sort of push down some of this batter from the sides as well, scrape it along, and fold that in. Only a few turns just to get it randomized in there as that melts, as it bakes, with that moistness as well, it's gonna slightly marble in patches the loaf. Well, that is it. Don't overfold it, as I say. Get it nice and randomized. And if you wanna know it's ready, if you wanna know that it loves you so, it's in his kiss. Just kiss the batter, but just from a distance, all right? That's the best way of telling that it works. All righty then. Oven preheated to 160 fan, 180C non-fan 350. Earth! Gas mark. Gas Mark IV, but make sure it's preheated so the heat is evenly distributed around said oven. Uh, don't forget, before we get this baking, we have done loads of baking recipes over the years on a playlist, so put on your sweatband, have a marathon, and check them out at the end of this video if you want some more bakes and cakes inspiration.
Hello, could I interest you in some triple chocolate banana bread? No? How about you? Want some? <laughs> I'll take that as a yes, huh? All right, so whilst we wait for the oven to preheat, we can just uh, lightly grease the bathtub tin. It is actually sensible to line this with baking parchment as well, but I wish to live dangerously today so that hopefully yours looks better than mine. You can probably hear the oven, it's just about ready. So we're gonna push the batter in. Ah, oh, look at that. Naughty. Slightly wetter batter than normal. You can omit the yogurt like I say, but I'm just really hoping to get a proper gooiness on this one. <laughs> look, I love the shine on it as well, but let's not finish there. Although this is the bottom, Let's stick some chocolate chips on top and we will treat the top. Don't you worry about that. In that goes. I got a bit crazy in the supermarket this morning. Um, I think because I get caught out with the, like, the whole like, algorithm thing they do in the supermarket where you're just like, you know, you go in for a certain thing and they're like, ooh, something down this aisle, right? I was gonna do a Snickers banana bread and I was like, oh no. Should I try and create a homemade Snickers within it or do I just stick Snickers bars in? Maybe I'll do that another time. But the sad news is that goes in the oven now for a solid hour. And that's not even like underestimating it. It generally needs at least that. If you feel like it's starting to catch and burn, put some foil on during the bake. But if that happens, uh, I'll let you know. See you then. So I might just hang out with you guys for a bit, huh? How about that? Can I get in there? I'm not gonna fit, am I? No. We're about a third of the way through. Nothing crazy going on too far, not covered it yet. I found I've got some more chocolate chips left over. So what I'm gonna do ready for the end is melt them all up in little pots and do an additional drizzle of each one on top as it cools. I'm envisaging that scene already. I just hope it comes out of the tray and really wish I lined it now. So make sure you line yours, all right? I was actually a bit worried that I put too much batter in. Uh, whilst that's been baking, I've edited the first part of this video, by the way, and I've noticed that I had flour all over me. Hey, let's keep it natural, right? <laughs> Definitely not the worst thing I've ever done. But that's puffed up so much with those chocolate chips all sunk in. I kind of want that to be the top now, um, but we can still drizzle. Oh my gosh, this could look amazing. Ah! Oh! I am gonna love this and you must make this. Let's just make sure we cook it right first. Yeah, small print. And yeah, I'm just melting my chocolate now because it's nearly time for it to get out. This could be really, really good, you know? I mean, not that my other stuff isn't ever, in my opinion, and other people's, I, I hope, okay, but this could be outstanding. Cheeky. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh look at that beast. <gasps> That's amazing. So I need to make sure that it comes out fairly clean, but also consider, yeah, that's clean. That there's chocolate in there, so if there was a little few marks on there, oh wow, oh wow, <laughs> like, that's turned out way better than I thought. <sighs> Every second it cools down in the tin, it's gonna to start to firm up slightly. If I try and move this right now, it'll all fall apart. So we'll let it cool initially like this. Whilst it's still warm, we'll drench it with our chocolate. Oh, wow. <laughs> the exposed white chocolate has slightly got roasted. I actually had a roasted white chocolate the other day and it was devastatingly amazing. I actually wanna do that as a, <gasps> yeah, let's do that as a video. Yeah, cool. Onto this. Ooh. Like that. Off. Ha! Ah. Oh my gosh! <laughs> yeah, baby. <laughs> All right, let's drench this with our three chocolates. So we've got the milk, the dark, and last but not least, the white chocolate as well. Oh. oh my gosh, that looks blooming awesome. I love it. Ah! It's amazing. <laughs> oh, straight into that crust. Oh my gosh, it's still a little warm. Oh, <laughs> it's like a brownie as well. Oh, the moistness from the bananas. Oh, outstanding. 
Well, my Monday morning just got insanely better. <laughs> I love the cake. Um, here we go, I'm gonna break through this. Oh, it is soft, but still holding together. <laughs> oh my God. That's so good, but just in the corner of where are you? Boston's like, he's like staring at me with a bit of envy, I think. No? Huh? Are you alright? This is so good. Oh my gosh. The cheeky drizzle of the chocolate at the end just brings it to life. The charred white chocolate chips there, they've got roastedness. And it's not too rich either. There's that softness, that moisture that I keep saying moisture. We wanted that in there though. And we have absolutely nailed that. And the steps were really easy. Just mash up a banana and chuck it all together. You must, must, must. Ooh. You Elon must. That didn't make sense. Give this a go. Please do. If you do, send me a photo on your favorite social media platform of choice. Remember, that's why I do this. And yours, hopefully, will look better than mine. If not, it'll all taste the same and we'll all live in triple chocolate banana bread heaven. Oh. Cheers, guys. See you soon. L-O-V-E is how you spell food Gonna make some truffles to get you in the mood To me your support is smooth as silk When I have my cereal I pour on milk If you got a food mixer give it a whirl I gotta let you know I'm still cooking in love with you girl Well I had high high hopes for this cake And it has not disappointed Super moist There's that word again <laughs> Luxurious crusty banana brownie goodness With a courtesy drench It doesn't need the chocolate drench Of the triple chocolate on there So so good. <laughs> if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a like. And remember, if you're not subscribed, please consider doing so and make sure your notifications are turned on. All right, cheers.